Hey there, business talk with Tom and Brett, and good morning. You know, I have my coffee, Tom has his tea, and you know, it's funny when business, we, we always talk about marketing, we talk about the, the things we're going to do to bring in business, the things we're going to learn, the employees we're going to hire, but what we tend to forget is, can your business survive without you? What do you think, Tom? I know my business can. If Tom died, it would be unfortunate. The YouTube channel would die. But uh, the business, <laughs> the checks would still get cash. The uh, processes and procedures are in place so the business can run without me. And that's right. an important thing because you can have the perfect sales pitch. You get all this effort and work put in. You've got the great stack you're offering. You get in front of the client. The client goes, man, you got everything we want. One final question before we put our you know, name on the dotted line here and sign and go with you. What happens if you die? What happens if you are incapacitated in any way and you can't run right. the business? And if you don't have an answer for that, that can be where they just slide the contract back across the table, shake their head and go, this is a risk for us. And it's really challenging for a small startup coming, you know, getting really early on into this to get over that. But it's something you should be thinking about before you even start your business business is how right. you're going to have some type of continuity. You're pitching business continuity to them. You're pitching, we'll do your backups. We'll maintain your business and make sure things are going. But what if something happens to you? And one of the reasons we talk a lot about this and think a lot about this is because not only do you have to have it, but we often come into businesses. We had a local one where their IT person had passed away suddenly, mm -hmm. which was unfortunate. He died in a motorcycle accident, and now they don't have any passwords. That's yeah, it. We had to go in. That would be, you were an amazing tool out there. I mean, you did some incredible stuff to get into their systems because well, their yeah, passwords the, were simple. The, the, the passwords were simple and a little hacking skills. You can bypass a lot of things. Um, there's because really valid good reasons to use some of the different uh, skills you may pick up for breaking right. into things. But nonetheless, <laughs> it was quite the challenge. And it left them really, they had no idea. No idea. This, so they're like, we don't know when the backups go. We don't know how to restore. We don't have any problems. Everything's working, but we don't want to wait. This is very recent. It's tragic. He was mm -hmm. a you know, longtime personal friend of the owner. Um, and but now he's gone and now so is every piece of knowledge person had. And, and this owner had never thought about it. So this person was doing your right. IT work for a number of years and the owner never thought that this person would or something would happen and that documentation like this would come up. Um, and I want to have a suggestion first, though, about it. And I, I know mm -hmm. we've already established what, what you need, but how to do it is one of the things I always like to put into these talks. So you have some right. takeaway and honestly, having an entire book and having documented all the processes where you keep procedures where you keep passwords mm -hmm. maybe your master password putting it in writing someone will go pulling your hair out screaming oh my god you can't ever put a password in a password book but honestly having it somewhere with some clues maybe spread amongst two very trusted confident people right. that are not likely to be on the same motorcycle as you or mm -hmm. in the same car as you on a frequent basis having some type of safe deposit box with double keys some way of having that information available and having a plan at which someone else can get it, a trusted staff right. member and things like that. Um, I even have a dead man's trigger set up on my Google account to where it goes to. There's a lot of series of things. It can be as simple as your spouse. So they have, you know, someone you may trust and go, all right, I trust my spouse to be able to delegate this information right. to a trusted party. These are just a few things that in, it doesn't have to be in a super elaborate plan, but at least the basics should be covered. So you can give that confidence over to the person person you're pitching to because if you don't it, there's nothing quite like that whole losing the flushness in your face and the sinking feeling mm -hmm. of i did everything right but i missed one step and hopefully on the other side if you're a business owner and watching this going yeah i, I have this guy that comes in that does my uh it work i or gail and they're like yeah i never thought about what happens if they don't show up and this is just mm -hmm. a problem a matter of fact sometimes it people just ghost <laughs> accounts right for reasons that are mysterious to us uh we've taken over plenty of accounts like that brett we're like what happened to the other it person one day they didn't answer the phone <laughs> well, they just weren't there anymore they weren't there anymore they don't yeah. they don't return mm -hmm. our calls <laughs> well you know we just we, we just brought on a company a larger company in new york that asked us questions about how many people we had working for us you know what happens if this if a person leaves what do you guys do and and we have processes in place to to help fill that you know, it, yeah, Tom, if you were gone, it would be a big loss, you know, and, 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 but would we be able to continue on, on the stuff we do every day? 
Yes, we would. There would be some skill gaps that would be created, you know, in the in the in the interim. But we would be able to continue on. And what can your business do to continue on? You think about disaster recovery and business continuity. But in a business continuity plan, there is that what if this person dies? What if this person is no longer here? You know, and there's there's ways to get around that. But you really have to think about that as a whole. What am I going to do? You know, and we talk to businesses all the time, and that's just a question that never really comes up, and it should. Yeah, it should. It, it's a mix. I've had people ask me, which I think this is a very forward-thinking business. Mm -hmm. I've had some like this client, you know, we dealt with where we had to come in after their IT person died, yeah. and they were just kind of at a loss because it was a sudden and unexpected and tragic death. So it's, there's both sides of the fence on there, but it's better mm -hmm. to be prepared. It's good to be thinking about it. And right. you shouldn't be, if you're thinking from a business strategy standpoint, the epicenter of your business. That is something you always should be working towards is going, can I put process and procedure in place? I mean, that's as long as you plan on growing. If you just like being the smartest person in the room all the time and you being the gatekeeper and a micromanager where everyone is forced to come to you, I don't understand that business philosophy. I do no. know some people that do that. They are the center of the universe as far as they're concerned. I think that's why they run their business sometimes. Right. Well, hey, that's not my style, but hey, it's up to you in the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I like about this team here that you've created, Tom, not anybody else, but you've you know, you've created this team. Everybody knows what's going on. We all know when we hear a client's name that, oh, Eric, Steve, someone, you know, Miles, you know, Kyle, they're working with that person. And we all, but we all know what's going on because it's about having that ability to continue on if, what if Kyle's not here one day? Right. What if you're not here? What if I'm not here one day? You know, th yeah. those are the things that we need to, th and you as a business, as an, as a startup IT, as a IT that's been around for 30 years, what about you? Yes. And also don't be afraid to update that documentation, yes. you know, 18 years in business and we're still updating documentation. Mm -hmm. We still look at process and procedures. Are these still valid? We try yep. to document new ones that come in because business evolves, especially tech business. There's so many changes. My business is what? nothing like it was you know, 18 years ago. You're I know. Kidding me. <laughs> so keep that document alive. Keep it up to date. That's my advice. Also have that document. There's the first piece and then keep it up to date, keep it alive. And it doesn't just apply to you. Make sure right. any different person in your system isn't any hold up or doesn't hold all the keys to a kingdom to where yep. you have some deficit other than the deficit of skill to follow those procedures yeah. uh, which is more replaceable than just oh, the knowledge went with them they're the only ones with the password or knowledge of how the system works in their head yeah. so that's what i want to leave you with today and thank you have a good one guys